discussing yesterday what to do with the golden visa system that was implemented in Portugal <coughs> and also in Spain for investors from China and apparently also from Brazil and Portugal who buy properties uh, with a value exceeding half a million euros. Uh, apparently in Portugal that has worked quite well, but in, in Spain uh, I think that I read recently that no more than 400 Chinese citizens have bought property. So it means that uh, Portugal has better weather, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but in, in Spain it, it hasn't had really an economic impact that is uh, relevant. It was, uh, I guess, a, a desperate measure at a certain moment in time which hasn't had a result and, and I don't think that uh, will in the future have a great impact in terms of investment or development. For a certain number of months, a few years ago, we were talking to people saying, okay, we're going to develop luxury residential units for Chinese to come in planes, you know, and occupy them. But that, that hasn't happened and for the time being, I don't think that it will move forward. We are having lots of investment, but more into retail sector offices, it's a more specialized, it's a professional kind of investment, more than golden visa approach. When you mentioned the residential is coming back, which type of, of residential are you, are you specifically pointing? Is existing a stock of empty or same developed house or is a brand new development? Yeah. Let's start with what I call urban <coughs> residential because I think there is a, 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 very, a quality of stock issue. It's a very uh, old, deteriorating quality. Uh, and, and I think Spain, Spain is still want to live in the city centre, and therefore that is an opportunity. I wouldn't be building new build probably on the periphery of Madrid or in a satellite town to Madrid. Um, the coast doesn't scare me either. Um, the, the occupational market in residential is the strongest sector the strongest occupational market today, um, which I think is interesting. If the end user's there, it provides quite a few uh, solutions for you. Um, I think you can buy land. I would buy land and develop, but you've got to look at where you're buying. Uh, the residential market is much more professional. The buyer <coughs> is much more demanding. And what the buyer wanted, particularly in coastal residential, um, seven years ago or ten years ago when a lot of the projects were conceived is not what they're wanting today. So be careful with buying partially completed or completed buildings and then selling that stock on. There are areas where developers tell me they can buy land and build better product more to the requirements of the occupier um, and sell it cheaper than the prices the banks are still offloading a lot of their residential at. Um, so those are warning signs when you hear comments like, like that. Um, but I wouldn't be scared of, uh, of and say no, no to the coastal touristic development at all. Just be careful.